page of page of page. So I'm going to talk about a game today. I don't really talk about games very much because I'm so goddamn slow at playing them. So it's you know, it, it, if you're looking for this to be a gaming channel, sorry, it's not. Um, but one game I got for cheap and sort of had me hooked based on what it you know on, on what it was purporting to be was this game, Bloody Shadow of Mordor, mate. So. I'm going to talk about that. So I completed it there during the week, and you know, I'm as if you remember from my Witcher videos, I'm not going to talk about games until I completed them. I completed it. I can I can view it as a finished product, and I gotta say, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's there's it's a smaller game. It's almost refreshing to have an RPG that's kind of a sandbox. It's not a huge Skyrim esque, Witcher esque landscape. I mean, it's it's big, but it's effectively two two districts there's it, it takes place in mordor you play this ca character called talion who's a ranger who serves in the black gates of mordor it, it's set between the hobbit and the lord of the rings with like that 60 year period which is largely untapped by any adaptations you know, that we've seen so that's cool um his family are butchered he's out for revenge with you know on the service of sauron and he's got this ghost this elf wraith ghost that's attached to him and cursed him and gives him all these supernatural abilities um one of them being he can't really die he won't ever know the afterlife until he's got his vengeance so there's that now any to, to go into the story anymore would be just too spoilerific and I, and I know the game came out in 2000 and what 14 I'm sorry okay like I said if you're watching this video you've probably already played it if you're not if you're watching this video and you haven't played it well you know Go and play it, all right? Let me tell you why you should play it. As a Lord of the Rings junkie, I like it. It's right up my alley. There's little, ref there's a few references. There's more than enough references in terms of dialogue and things to the books and the stories. There is one or two cameos. I'm, I'm hesitant to use the word cameos because it's not just a glorified, hey, look, it's that guy. It's, um, they, they kind of push the story along. Obviously, Sauron is a factor. You're in Mordor. And he's building his strength up again because he was banished by Galadriel, who went full OP back in Mirkwood at that time. Um, but yeah, so that, that's that's happening. Uh, the the landscape itself it takes place in two districts of Mordor. One is Udun, and one is down by Lake Nernin. So two very different places. I wish they pushed the envelope a bit more. I'd like to see more of the Mordor they created because this Mordor is still it's not the Mordor that we know, the barren, desolate wasteland. It's not that yet. Um, it gets there, but it's still kind of wild and untamed, and Sauron's still sort of reclaiming his hold on the land. So it's not—it's it, just another country, effectively. It's you know, the, the, there are mountains. They're not especially especially cursed. There are things that it's got wildlife. I wish they pushed the envelope with things like the wildlife a bit more. You know, they they introduce some. You think you're gonna go? Oh, we're gonna see trolls and wargs and stuff. Not really. Uh, there are orcs, but they're specifically referred to as Uruks. I think maybe. I don't know, is there a licensing issue with the Tolkien estate? They can only refer to them as orcs. It makes no sense. But mm, um, there aren't wargs. There are creatures called Karagord, which are like silver-toothed tigers. And there aren't trolls, but there are these big rancor-looking things called graugs. But it all works. You all just kind of roll with it after a while. I wish they'd, they'd shown us more of that. I mean, I, I, this is me. I'm going to take my Lord of the Rings junkie hat off and just talk about the game, specifically the game. In terms of gameplay, there's no getting around it. It's very Arkham. It's very Assassin's Creed. Okay, it just is. It's stealth moves. It's corner moves. It's surprise grabs. It's leaping. It's you know it, it is. It's a metal. It's you know all of that owes itself to Metal Gear Solid. We'll give it that. But it's that in the Lord of the Rings. So that's yeah. If if you want, if you've always wanted that, here you go. It's there. Um, so there's that to it. I will say it's a really, it's a challenging game. It doesn't make it easy for you. I mean, it's not sort of Dark Souls challenging, but it's it's challenging in a way that you're like, oh God, I didn't expect that. Like if, you, if you're doing an execution or something, or if you're in the middle of a finishing move, the NPCs, the other, the bots, the other Urukai around you don't wait for you to finish your move. They're going to interrupt that. They, they can still do that. The game doesn't wait for you to finish your move. It'll, it'll, it's not gonna make it easy for you at all. So I, I respected that. What's more, when you die in the game, you die. You, you've, you've been killed and you're going to come back to life. You don't just respawn. You, well, you literally respawn in the story. And the orc that kills you gets a promotion. 
And then the next time you encounter him, he remembers you, he remembers what happened, he has some crass remark, and, but he's more powerful now. He's been emboldened. So, yeah, it, it's all story-wise. That's something I've got to pick up on. The Nemesis system. Now, this is something brand new and original to this game, and it's so compelling. Uh, apart, at some point in the storyline, you need to, with your wraith powers, you can brand them, effectively hypnotize Urukai so that they serve you, whether they know it or not. Um, and you want to get five of them sort of on the top ladder of the, of the hierarchy, of the social hierarchy, military hierarchy of Mordor. And to do that, you need to ensure he wins fights, uh, ensure he kills rivals, you know, betrays his commanders, you know, up, you know, get, just climbs the ladder. And before you know it, you're obsessed with this. And, and perhaps I'm not selling it very well. You could do it the hard way. You could kill, you could kill them all and just try and get, get people up there. You know what, that suits you. But you don't need to. Get them to do it for you under your will. And it's, you'll be surprised at how fun it is and how engaging it is. Uh, you know, there aren't any redeeming qualities for orcs. Of course not. Why would there be their orcs? But it's a it's fun, it, and, and it's unique to this, and I want to see them do more of it. Uh, the Nemesis system, man, it's, it's, it's so cool. You don't think you care about the political hierarchy of Mordor. You do, because you're controlling it. So why wouldn't you? Um, I, you know, I, I heard they announced, well, they haven't announced, but they've teased there's going to be a sequel because some mocap actress put something on her Instagram or something or other. Um, so that's cool. I'm looking forward to that. I, I, I'd be on board. Um, Storyline wise, like again, it's um, it's kind of spoilerific. I'm not going to get into it, but I want them to push the envelope. Storyline wise, it's it's a very light story. It doesn't stick the landing at the end. It's guilty of a thing a lot of games are, which is the final boss fight. It's surprisingly underwhelming, and I don't say that to be mean. I mean, it's just so. It's, you're like, is that it? It's it's barely a fight. There's a harder boss fight earlier in the game. There's a stranger boss fight through the middle of the game, and then then there's the final boss fight, which is effectively a cutscene. It's so bizarre, but be, but right up to that, you're having a good time. So I can forgive the game for it. Uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts on this game. I played it on the Xbox One. There's some DLC for it because you meet a character in there who's a lot of fun. And the DLC seems to center around him, so I might get that. But yeah, if you like this vid, please click like, subscribe, view, share, and all the usual jazz. And I'll talk to you later, YouTube. All the best.